What's good, Wolfpack? I'm Tad Schelt. And I'm Damon Ramos. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, and we are here with your daily announcements. There will be a mandatory meeting in the MP room tomorrow at 345 for a senior Disneyland trip. Bus signups, trips, ins, trip ins and outs, and other concerns will be discussed, so make sure to show up. Until December 15th, ASB is partnering with Men's Soccer and the Oko Food Bank for a food drive to support our local community. They are accepting dry or canned foods, small cans, and ramen noodle packs. For any donations you make, you will be rewarded with IMCO tickets. Please bring all donations to the leadership room next to the cafeteria. If you're interested in being a part of next year's leadership program, you could sign up by completing the Google form in the Wolfpack newsletter. The due date is next Friday, December 16th. CO Community Club is having a donation drive until December 16th. If you have any new toys or the teddy bears, please drop them off at the Culinary Building. Donations will be given to the Kasumnis Fire Department. For more information, please contact their Instagram, at Community Club COHS. Now, let's pass on over to Ethan and Isha for entertainment. Hello Wolfpack and welcome to your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Today, let's dive into some festive media. Hallmark is coming out with new movie, new Christmas movies. Hallmark creates such an iconic and beautiful movies, especially in the terms of plot. I enjoy them so much and... Oh, sorry. Some of the movies look so good, such as Three Wise Men and The Baby, A Cozy Christmas Inn, and A Magical Christmas Village. Cool names and very Hallmark-like speaking of their beauty. Remember, remember those examples that were shown on screen? Weren't those so amazing? Uh, they look all the same. My point exactly. Most of those Hallmark holiday movies are just copy and paste, though they may be addicting. Maybe you should talk about a real Hallmark movie, or a real holiday movie instead. Oh, you know what's a real holiday movie? Die Hard. That's a Christmas movie. This 1988 classic featuring your boy Bruce Willis, you know? From what I've heard, this action-packed holiday film is about a policeman named John McClane visiting his estranged wife and daughters in a corporate building during, the holiday, during a holiday party. Before he was attacked, therefore, therefore McClane has to save the whole building and those inside. Well, now you may ask, how is this cult classic a holiday movie? Well, it's during Christmas Eve, has Christmas music, presents, and even Santa is there. Along with a resolution of a New Year, a New Year at the end. Also, if Hallmark could be a Christmas movie, how come this can't be a Christmas movie? I'm gonna be honest with you, Ethan. I have never watched Die Hard. I cannot associate with you anymore. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Nisha Samra, and I'm Ethan Nguyen. Ipikaye, Wolfpack. Wow. Thanks, Ethan and Nisha. Kaiser Permanente has announced the application window for their paid summer internship program. The internship provides an opportunity to gain hands-on experience in various non-medical careers, including finance, communications, hospital operations, and more. You can apply until December 23rd. For more information, please check your Synergy email or scan the QR codes. CEO will be showing Home Alone for all freshmen this Friday, December 9th, from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Admission is free, but snacks and drinks will be available. Those who are on the no activities list will not be allowed in, so please make sure to bring your ID card. EGUSD is hosting a computer science hackathon on February, th February 11th. Please check this week's weekly newsletter for more information and the registration link. Lunch will be provided and the first 20 people that sign up will get a free t-shirt. NHS is hosting a card giveaway for veterans this holiday season. The cards can be homemade or store bought and any cards you turn in will be rewarded with IMCO tickets. Please drop them off by Leadership Room by December 12th. Let's show our veterans some love and thank them for their service this holiday season. It's that time of the week. Let's go see what Darren and Jonah have going on for us over at Sports. What's up Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. And this is your sports update. Let's get into it. Last week, our girls' basketball team had their season open, opener at Vacaville. Roll the clip, guys. So we don't talk about this. Talking about. Oh. Our girls' first game went very well, putting up an 84-44 to, to win the game. Particularly, junior Isabel Tan, number 23, put up 27 points for the night. Great job. Don't forget about the defense. The rebound game and steals were crazy. Watch this coordination driving to the basket. Overall, a very good game. Number two, Nicole Tran had a good game with 16 points and plenty of good steals. 
We also kept the momentum going for the next two games, winning 87 to 32 versus West Park and an astounding 72 to 16 versus Valley. Great job, guys. Girls. As you can see, but we get a good steal right here and seem to be able to rebound the ball in order to make another basket. Watch this. Great layup. And that is a great sinking shot. We brought in some players to share their thoughts about the season. Joining us today, we have Ranveer Molly, Mason and Miles McFarland, and Jeremiah King. Welcome, you guys. So, what are your guys' overall thoughts about the season? Uh, I would say my overall thoughts about the season. Sorry, it wasn't, it didn't go the way we planned, but I had ultimately, ultimately a, a lot of fun playing with my brothers. So. Um, it was a fun season. Um, what are your favorite memories from this season, or just football in general? Um, my favorite memory from this season has to be summer ball. I feel like the whole team, you know, we just bonded and got to know each other better. And I feel like that helps with our success as a team moving on to this season. Uh, my, favorite, my favorite memory from this season was our last game against Franklin. I feel like we all came together. I would also say that my uh, favorite memory was uh, playing Franklin for the last game because uh, that student section was just crazy and the experience was amazing. Experience sure was amazing. I liked that game a lot. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about for high school and or your plans after high school? Uh, I would say for high school right now it's going really well for me, but uh, after high school my plans are to go D1. Uh, either track or football. My plan is to spend a senior year and see what I can offer. Uh, my plan after high school is uh, I want to go D1 in any sport, and this this school year has been going well. My plans are I pray I get offered to Division One college. You know I'm doing everything that I can and let uh, God do the rest. So if it happens, it is what it is. Thanks for your time, guys. Back to the anchors. <laughs> Thanks for the update, boys. If you have earned a 3.7 GPA or higher, there will be prizes given out in the MP room. Prizes will be given to juniors tomorrow, and on Friday it will be for seniors. And if you miss a day, you can go to the leadership room to pick up your award. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Henderson. Attention students, please remember to pick up all of the trash that you make and put it in the garbage. Environmental Club has been noticing an overabundance of trash all over our campus, and has created a lot more work for them. Honestly, please just be more respectful of our campus. Well, that's it for today, Wolfpack. I'm Tad Chilt. And I'm Damon Ramos. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Special, Special Kids Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.